Right. Oh, there you are, Greg. Hi, Steve. Hi. I, I hope you don't mind. I was just getting a little taste. Uh, oh, no. Have as much as you want. <laughs> That's a lot. You sure you're not hungry? I mean, this is delicious stuff. Oh, no. That food's not for me. Really? Who's it for? It's for my dog. For, for your dog? Uh-huh. It's for my dog food for my new little puppy. Mm. Really? Well, he was actually quite good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh. Maybe this is a good time to show today's contest oh. winners. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners. And if you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. And when you collected four loops and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send each of them a Carmen T-shirt. <laughs> Greg, stop it! What? Oh, you're eating dog food for crying out loud! Steve, come on. Do you really think I would eat dog food for a gag? Come on! <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Yeah. It's probably just refried beans, right? Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it's not real. I mean, he he wouldn't eat dog food, would he? No, he would. What? Old habits die hard. Ho tap. Boys, head for an Asian country east of South Korea. Writers there started a form of poetry called haiku. Poetry? We love rhyming. That's why our name is Double Trouble, Charmin' Carmen. A traditional haiku doesn't rhyme. It's a short verse using nature or the seasons as a theme. A haiku is just three lines long and exactly 17 syllables. Whoa, you have to count? It's not that tough, boys. Here's a haiku I just wrote. Cash, green as spring grass. Jewels, glistening like snow. Always in season. Carmen, that's the sweet sound of poetic injustice. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Philippines, Japan, or Vietnam? Remember the clues that we heard? Asian country, east of South Korea, and where haiku poetry originated. Come up with an answer as quick as we can, please. Uh, Stephen is ready, and Socorro, Melissa, still thinking about it. Now Melissa's ready, and Socorro is ready. Hey, Socorro, what do you say, buddy? I chose Philippines. Philippines, what do you think, Stephen? I chose... Japan. Japan. Melissa? I chose Vietnam. Vietnam. The answer we're looking for is Japan. Nice job, Siobhan. All right, Gumshoes, for our next clue, we turn to our informants from Acme Aquanet. Here are the Acmets. That's what I want. That is what I want. Yes, sir. All right, Gumshoes, name the road, if you will, please. Is it Blue Ridge Parkway, Natchez Trace Parkway, or Garden State Parkway? Remember the clues that we heard? Through Appalachians in Virginia and North Carolina, and road designed to maintain natural beauty. This one could be rough. Come up with an answer. Socorro, everyone's ready. Socorro, we start with you. What do you say? I chose Blue Ridge Parkway. Blue Ridge Parkway, Stevon. I chose Blue Ridge Parkway. Same thing, Melissa. I chose Blue Ridge Parkway. You guys are good, and you're all right as well. Oh, yeah! <laughs> nice 
Scott Picori go up to 70. Stevon has 90. Melissa 105. At me, Crime Works. Now it is time for the chase. <laughs> The These are all worth five at me crime books, hands on your buzzers. Get ready, here we go. Double trouble, double timed it to the capital city of Regina. Uh, Stefan. Alberta. Sorry, Saskatchewan. Then they wrangled the route due west uh, to British Columbia. What mountain range did they cross? Socorro. Rocky. Yes. Next they trek north to a territory that borders Alaska. Melissa. Yukon. Yes. Then they snowboarded the route all the way to the capital of Northwest Territories. Name it. Melissa. Yellowknife. Yes. Then they rerouted the route to Quebec. What bay did they cross? Stefan. Hudson. Is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Socorro has 75, Stefan 95, Melissa 115. Crime box. Big round of applause. Woo! Good job, you guys. Okay, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. We happen to have a map where we think double trouble is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready. All the decisions are made. For our last and final clue, we go to field agent Gary Goldstein from Acme Real News for Kids Net. Gumshoe. Double trouble drifted down the Atlantic coast of South America, all the way to Uruguay. They're in the capital. Now, legend says it was named when a sailor with the explorer Magellan shouted, I see a mountain, in Spanish. The twins are sipping on some yerba mate. It's like tea, and you drink it from a hollow gourd using a silver straw. Oh, my gourd, look at the time. I got to bail. OK, thanks a lot, guys. Here is the last thing, then. Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Rio de Janeiro? Asuncion or Montevideo. Remember the clues that we heard. Capital of Uruguay. Name means I see a mountain in Spanish and on Atlantic coast of South America. This is the final clue this round. So once you have your answers, that's it. Lay it down right there in front of you. Nice job, guys. Socorro, we start with you. You have 75 at me crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 40 crime bucks. 40 crime bucks. What'd you say, Socorro? I chose Montevideo. Montevideo is right. Nice job, Socorro. Up to 115. Stefan, you have 95 at me crime bucks. How much did you risk? 40. 40 crime bucks. What'd you say, buddy? Montevideo. Montevideo. Nice job. He's right. Takes you up to 135. Melissa, you have 115. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. That means if you are right, you and Stefan are going on to the next round. What'd you say? I said Montevideo. Nice job, Melissa and Stefan. You're going on to the next round. Socorro, great game, buddy. Put it there, buddy. Yeah, you really did a nice job. Great detective work. Chief, what do we have for us? People think it's easy being a gumshoe, but it's not easy. No, sir, no, ma'am. That's why we equip our gumshoes with the very best, like this new Acme travel pack, packed with the latest crime detection inventions like an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. And our Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. You can say that again. And our Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. Thanks, Chief. We're late. We're on our way to Uruguay. Let's go, guys. Greg, are the gumshoes on board? Yes, we're meeting for a shuffleboard on the main deck at 2 o'clock. Marvelous. Okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Uruguay. You know the drill. You're there. I'm here. The Chief goes right in here. And listen close. Chief. 